In one of my previous videos, Shrimpy Banana asks, Nice. But what if the person that recorded the video did it both ways in one video? How do I edit that? What am I supposed to do? Here, my friend, let me show you. So this is what we will be trying to make in this video. Let's get started. Here is how original video looks like. It was recorded vertically, but then the camera was rotated horizontally. So let's have a look at how to correct this. First thing I do is I'm going to drag the video inside Premiere Pro. The Premiere Pro itself will create the sequence for me automatically. And this is how it looks like. Now, normally you want your video to be horizontally or widescreen. So let's first do that. Click on sequence, then go to sequence settings. A new window pops up and once again, like in the previous video that I showed you guys, simply switch these two numbers and hit OK and then OK again. So now your video is actually widescreen, but let's correct the actual clip that we have down here. So first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to find a part in this clip where I actually rotate the camera horizontally. And then I'm going to go to rotation under effect controls and you can press shift F5 if you're using Windows. I don't know what's equivalent for Mac, but I hope you do know. So anyhow, under rotation, rotate the video until it fits the whole area like so. So I know for a fact that this is the correct rotation. So now the video is actually horizontal, but let's go back. We see that the parts of the video, you basically got to break your neck to be able to watch these videos. Let's correct this. So first thing I do is I'm going to preview the video and I will find the exact moments when the camera starts rotating. So let us play. Okay, so the camera started rotating. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click somewhere on the timeline over here where these sort of ruler lines are, just, just above the yellow line, basically. And I'm going to move the playhead, and then I'm going to use arrow buttons on my keyboard and slowly move. This allows me to move frame by frame, basically. So this is where the video starts rotating. I'm going to make a cut there by simply pressing... C on my keyboard and then ba that basically selects the razor tool and then I just click. The razor tool will snap to the playhead, this line over here, so it's gonna make a really perfect cut. Let's keep moving on and find where the rotation stops. So it's still rotating and this is where it stopped. So I'm again going to press C, use the razor tool and just click. You don't have to zoom in because again, the razor tool will snap to this line. So there we go, we have the rotation and we have the beginning of the video. Now let us start correcting. So these two clips are actually not the way they should be. They are not rotated properly. So the first thing I'm going to do is, since this is where the rotation starts and stops, basically where the rotation happens, I'm going to move this clip in the track above, just so I know where exactly rotations are. So anyhow, let's use this first clip, open effect controls and rotate the clip the way it should be. So there we go, that's how it should be. Then the rotation starts right here. So we click on the rotation clip under effect controls and we are going to keyframe this. So first things first, again, rotate it the way it should be. Click this uh, little thingy, this stopwatch, and that's going to toggle the keyframe. So we have a, one keyframe here. Let's move it all the way to the left so it's all the way at the beginning of the clip. So this is the clip right here. Next thing, let's move the playhead a little bit to the right and then click this button to add another keyframe and let's rotate it. So I know it should be at minus 90. And I'm going to, again, take this keyframe and move it all the way to the right. So now we have two keyframes, one at the beginning, one at the end of the clip. And the first keyframe is actually at zero rotation, and the second keyframe is at minus 90 degrees. So let's see what happens now that we have keyframed this particular rotation. So I'm going to play it. As you notice, what actually happens is the clip itself doesn't rotate, but it looks like that these black bars around it are rotating. And that's the effect we are looking for. Now, I do want to point out that clearly the camera does shake and there are ways to fix this. First and the best way to fix this is simply try to keyframe as best as possible. So go through this and then rotate a little bit if you want and you know just keep moving on until you're satisfied. Also, one thing to point out is if you want to do as best as possible fixing of this rotation, you should find exact spot where the rotation starts to happen and where it ends. That's how you're going to get the best possible results. 
for the sake of the, this video, I'm not going to try super hard. Just want to showcase what you should do. Anyhow, let's preview the video. Now we have... It's Everything's basically normal. There we go. And now we have another rotation. So let's fix that as well. So... Rotation starts to happen right here. So let's keep moving on. Let's find the end of the rotation. And it's somewhere there. Cut there as well. And I think just for the sake of it, there is another one. There we go. Let me do that. Let me find this last rotation. This is where it starts. And it stops right there. There we go. So once again, I'm going to take the clips where rotation starts and I'm simply going to drag them to the track above. So basically, here is where our rotations are. It just makes it visually easier for you to find out where they happen. So anyhow, here's the rotation. Let's keyframe it. So once again, we click this stopwatch under rotation effect controls and we move our playhead to the right a little bit and we create another keyframe where we actually rotate the video the way it should be. I know it should be at zero, so there we go. I'm going to move one first uh, keyframe to the left, second keyframe to the right, and then I'm just going to keep going. So here we have another clip. Rotation is minus 90. I know it should be at zero, so I rotate it. That's good. Keep moving on. Here we have another rotation. So let's just finish everything. Uh, so let's keyframe it once again. I'm going to rotate it the way it should be, which is zero again. Move the playhead to the right. And then create another keyframe at minus 90 and move the keyframe all the way to the right. And there we go. Now let's preview the whole video and see what we have done. So as you can see, yeah, the bars are rotating around the actual video. But the video stays as flat as possible. Once again, yeah, you just got to get in there and try your best to fit that. There we go. Hold on, let me try to do that as best as I can. There we go. See how the rotation looks a little better than the previously. Yeah, there we go. So it's just about you coming in here and finding the exact points where the rotation happens. Now that we have fixed the clip, of course, take your time, fix it as much as you want. And by the way, in the future, do record only horizontally. It's just better. I mean, it's not better, but it's the norm because of the videos are widescreen TVs are widescreen, phones are widescreen, everything is widescreen. That's how it is. Okay, now that we have done this, let's see what we can do about the shaking, number one, and about number two, black bars. So first things first, let's see the shaking. Click and drag until you select all of the clips, right click and go to nest. Then click OK. This is going to put all of these clips together in a group to say so. So they are all here together. Now you can apply effect to all of them at the same time. Go to effects and look for stabilizer or actually warp stabilizer and simply drag and drop it down here. The warp stabilizer will analyze all of this in the background and it's going to do as best job as possible that it can do to fix all the shaking. You will see you you will have a couple of options and settings to mess around with to get as good of a result as you want or as good of a result as possible. However, the thing with stabilizer is it's going, because it's the computer, it's going to try to process all the video in its own way. It's going to crop it. It's going to uh, sort of warp it a little bit. It's going to look a little bit like it's jelly, like it's uh, waves. You'll, I'll, I'll show you. This is not really what I like to do with my videos. To me, it just doesn't look pleasing for me personally. That's why, again, the best thing to do is just find the exact moments where the rotation happens to be able to fix these things properly. Anyhow, now it's starting to stabilize and see what happens. It actually decided to crop the video, but let's preview it. So you'll notice how, of course, the bars around are shaking, But the actual video is not shaking, only the bars around it. So you see how, but the video is sort of like, way, it's like a flag, like, like the flag is waving around. And that's what I don't really like. However, the video does look stabilized for sure. But let's click on this clip that we have down here. Click on effect controls and find warp stabilizer. Let's see what can we do. So first things first, results. We have smooth motion or no motion. I'm going to leave smooth motion and we can turn down the smoothness a little bit. See if we get a better result. So as you can see, the video is still 
looking like waves, like it's a flag waving on the wind a little bit if you pay close attention. Okay, what else can we do? We have method down here and we can choose position, position scale, rotation, perspective and subspace warp. Let's click position, see what happens. You'll notice once I click the position that, yeah, basically the video shakes a little bit more because I was shaking my hand. So that's what you, you that's, yeah. Just basically mess around with these methods and see which one gives you good results. Again, it's shaking a little bit. There's also a little warping down happening, but it's sort of a smooth motion. I like it. Next thing, we can choose preserve scale. And this is actually not going to crop the video, I believe. Not that much. But we can also go to framing and simply move this option to stabilize only because at the moment it's actually turned on to stabilize crop and auto scale so let's just use stabilize only and you'll notice now that pretty much most of the video is actually still there but only the bars around it are shaking and there you go the video is stabilized however that looks funny look at that that looks funny just there but yeah you can see how this creates a little awkward looking video but again, it's up to you to decide what you want. Personally, don't like to use Warp Stabilizer. However, that can solve the number one issue, which is shaking. The second issue is the black bars. What can be done about it? Well, at the moment, as far as I know, we only have one option, which is actually copying this clip, which is simply hold Alt, click and drag, and it's going to create a copy or a duplicate of this clip. Then take the clip that's underneath, go to Effect Controls, Scale, and just scale it up. Also, go to Effects and find Gaussian Blur. So, here it is. Drag it to the clip below or underneath. Go to Effect Controls, find Gaussian Blur, Blurriness, and drag it up a little bit. You've probably seen these sort of effects in Instagram posts, basically any video that was recorded with the phone that was put on some sort of social media. You've seen these sorts of effects. You can also go to Opacity and yeah, turn off this clock and then just drag the opacity down a little bit and this is what you can get. Essentially, there are no black bars, but the computer itself cannot actually create the missing part of the video for you because it was not recorded and we don't have the technology yet. This is the best we can do, people. This is the best we can do in 2020. I wanted flying cars and hoverboards, but we got this, this shit with wheels. Amazing. Love the future. Can't wait to see what's next. Jokes aside, essentially, this is what you can get if you mess with it a little bit and create a little better results but again <laughs> this is it i hope this does help you out in any sort of way however next time you see somebody recording a video in a vertical position slap them it's better to cause them the headache than to have your own eh? 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 quote me on that anyways thanks so much for tuning into this video consider rating sharing commenting like this guy for example he commented and gave me actually suggestion for the next video so thank you very much banana guy and yeah subscribe to the channel for more videos like this, maybe. Thanks. I will see you in future videos. Priest, signing out. Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it. And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing. Never give up, never slow, till I finally prove it. Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving. Keep my head up when I act. Head up, that's a fact. Never looking back, I'ma keep myself.